Now do your best air wing impression. No. This is really um, very um, Coast Guardy. I think this is what the Air Force gets. Over. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Warbird Mistress as always, and I'm here at the Cradle of Aviation where behind me you can see a neat model. It's got the F9C Sparrowhawk there. One of the few uh, Zeppelin guy, Zeppelin or airship <laughs> launched fighters. The uh, definitely have to do a video on that, but I knew a couple of you asked me about it in the past, so there it is. It looks silly, it's irresponsible, it defies logic, well, and of course he's a jarhead. So in the one video that we were uh, showing, actually both videos of uh, aerial gunnery the, that were narrated by Jimmy Thatch, I noticed uh, that I commented on the reflector sight and how it took into effect the uh, took in, into account the way that the plane was flying, the gravitational pull, and all that. This is actually a little thing here at Cradle of Aviation. The button appears to be out of uh, yeah, it doesn't actually light up, but they show here how it worked. It's not just an iron sight. We have. This here, you got the reflector plate this way, projecting lenses coming up, there's a light bulb at the bottom, and that would have tilted and moved based on where the airplane was flying. So just kind of a real life example of, uh, or at least facsimile, of what I meant. So again, we're still here at Cradle of Aviation, and you know there's just so much to show off. And it's my friend Dave Catan's first time here. Uh, F6F Hellcat. So you know a lot of people can mistake it for the Wildcat, but I mean here it's a great example. You got some uh, you know green pockets there, or five of them. Got of course the color coded deck hand. The uh, over here you see how smooth the cowling is. The uh, there's really nothing in the Hellcat that way. It's got that low wing that uh, was an advantage you know, compared to, say, the Wildcat in that, which was a mid-wing aircraft. Uh, the landing gear, of course, are not Grumman's typical landing gear either, which allowed it to be a low-wing aircraft. And then above it, we've got the F-2A Buffalo. Now, the windows at the bottom there may seem like nothing, but that's actually important because underneath your seat is a total blind spot, and you had to be able to see beneath you. So it's something I think that a lot of uh, aircraft design just didn't include. In fact, I don't think the Zero had one at all. Uh, you have to be very careful that, of course, you can't see behind it and back you. That's still going to be your blind spot. But yeah, I found that out just wearing short skirts, too. So on the front floor, you can see here, this is a mock-up of an F280-3. It really is this smaller, stubby aircraft there. Um, and if it was light as anything, yeah, sure, it was maneuverable. Happy Boynton loved it until they got to the Dash 3 model. And then if we're going to take a walk over here, we're going to take a look at the TBF Avenger we have over there. And, of course, the F4F Wildcat. Now, this is an F4F Dash 3. You can see because the wings are, are folding. The folding wings... Uh, were added in the four. They put in another pair of machine guns, but there's only 240 rounds per gun. In the original four gun model, you had more ammunition, more firing time, a better chance of getting your rounds on target. Uh, of course, the FM models did not have uh, the same disadvantages as the Dash 4, and they were upgraded too. So you really have to look at the Wildcat as more than just the Dash 3, Dash 4. You've got the Dash 3, Dash 4, and then the FM and FM 2. So that's up there, still has that uh, you know, kind of mid-wing, typical Grumman interwar uh, landing gear there that they had from the Fifi on forward. Uh, remember, it was supposed to be a biplane originally, 
but the monoplane design was successful and used throughout the war. Uh, the Martlet in Commonwealth started the war. And then this is the event of President Bush's aircraft, the uh, first one. So, got there a torpedo that probably doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, and then folding wings, of course, the Grumman wings, like on the Hellcat, folded flat back. So now it's with the street. And the, uh, over here we've got the power turret. But that's going to be a video of its own, and we'll do that another day. See you then. Now here's one that I just discussed actually in my Coast Guard video, a Lenning OL-6. Uh, you see that it's got such a distinct shape there. And I'm glad that we got a model here because let's face it, I can't afford 3D models of everything. And this is just plain old more fun. The, uh, in fact, not only does it have a great example of a Lenning right there, but we've got one of my favorite aircraft too. I didn't even realize it was right above my head a second ago. And that's of course the uh, Seversky's you know, fighter model. You've got the P, uh, P-35 and then you've got up to the uh, P-43 Lancer that became, which became the P-47. And, yeah, of course, I've seen the uh, the Guardsman, the uh, the two-seater out there in California fly, and I just love that thing. So there's another treat. Yes. Yes. Uh, back. Hold. Deep. Not easy, is it? All right. So that's the vertical stabilizer. What do you do to make it uh, dive then? Because right now you're climbing. Push forward. Yeah. 